sides of the room. Leave a space in the middle. Quiet, please. Now, I saw some very good work going on there, and I'd like us all to see some of it. Patsy Bly's group, would you like to uh, show us your effort? A couple of chairs. Mm -hmm. I'm the father and Judith's mother. Now the girl becomes the neck in the party. Okay. Carry on then. Where the hell have you been? What time of night do you call this? I lost sight of the time. Ain't they got no clocks in that house? Your mother's been worried sick, haven't you, Judith? I have. Self, self, self. That's all young people think about these days. You might have been murdered on your way home. You never know who's about. I got a lift home in Linda's car. We don't want them fancy lot doing us no favours. You should have come home on that bus. That's right, Rachel. I need the rest, same as you. Where's me at watching the telly? That's right, mm -hmm. Rachel. He's always right and you always agree with him. Come here. Come here when I tell you. Don't you talk to your mother like that. You do as you're told while living here. Got it? Yes, Dad. Now get up to bed before I lose my temper. Go on. Yes, I like that. What do you uh, think was good about it? Michael. It almost look real. Especially Patsy. Yes, I thought Patsy was very convincing, except for the crack about the telly. Did you base the character on somebody you know, Patsy? Sort of. It's a bit dirty from here, don't it? What does? The river. Oh, yeah, it is. Especially when the tide's out. From the roof, it looks magic. You've been up there today. It's Thursday, ain't it? Wish I had that temperature job. I hate the playground. Don't like school at all, really. I do. Lessons are ace. But it is great to be by yourself sometimes. Yeah. Do you know where it goes, the river? It's here, I expect. It goes to Margate. Where you came from, you mean? Yeah, it was great there. Better than rotten London. Did you swim in the sea? Of course, Mum used to take me. Before she married that slobby the green lad Jason. She never took me anywhere after that. Do you wish she was back there? All the time. She was lovely, Mrs Baldley. Ever so kind. She used to knock on the ceiling and I used to run downstairs to her place. And she'd always have something for me. You know, a cake or something. I told you about my dream, didn't I? Hey? The dream I always have about running away. Yeah. One of these days I'll do it. Straight back to Mrs. Broadley I'll go. I'll open the gate. I'll go up the path. And I'll ring the bell. <laughs> and the door will open. And Mrs. Broadley will be there. And she'll take me in and I'll be from Eddie Green. And I'll live there the rest of my life. Sounds great. You haven't told nobody, have you, Kenny? Oh, no. Well, you mustn't, neither. It's our secret, OK? I have a dream as well. I dream I'm big and strong like Muhammad Ali, and when anyone calls me names, I thump them. <laughs> Serve them right. Or else I dream I'm invisible. No one points and laughs at me, because they can't see me. Know what I mean? Yeah. You know, sometimes I don't go to school. 
I come swimming in the river, just along here. Straight up? Yeah, it's great. I'm coming tomorrow if it's hot. No one else comes. It's dangerous, mate, but it's worth it. It's no problem for you. If you get caught, your mum would just cry in that. If it was me, I'd get murdered. I'd be more worried if the school found out. Well, I won't tell on you, Kenny. But I'll think about you, lucky thing. And I'll keep your secret like I promised. Let's shake on it. You wouldn't get a call already, I suppose. I'm getting out of this chair with that lazy little girl. Patsy, get a move on, will you? Look, I want you here now. Oh, damn it. Look what you made me do. Where you been? Nervously. Come here. Come here. Come round this side. I'm messing your mother about. Sit down, next. Get your breakfast. Did you work that bed last night? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Dad. Eddie likes you to call him Dad now, Patsy. She knows that's just being awkward. Had it too easy when you were little. That's your trouble. What were your mother? And that interfering old A bag, Mrs. Broadley, spoiling you. Look, your name might be Patsy Bly, but you're Eddie Green's daughter, and I ain't about to let you forget it. I'm bringing you up now, so we'll have a bit of obedience, all right? Oh, Patsy, you won't have time to eat all that. She ain't got time to eat nothing, and we can't afford to waste any. Go on, get off the school before I lose me temper. Go on. Oh, and Patsy, you're not going to school in that pink dress again, are you? It's your favourite. I think you ought to change it. Let her ruin it if she wants to, so. And where's your cardigan? I don't need it. It's going to be hot again. Yes, you do. I can't cope with sunburn as well. Put the cardigan on. Do as your dad says and then shove off before you cause any more trouble. Oh, God, what's he done now? Kenny, love, I knew you wouldn't go without saying goodbye to Mummy. Shall I help you with your bag? No, no thanks. I can manage. Oh, there's plenty of time. No need to panic. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, I will. Love him. <laughs> Can I just interrupt you for a moment? Quiet, please. There are one or two of these slips that I've not had back yet. Uh, Darren Smith. Absent. Oh, yes. Uh, Lester Drew. I can't afford it, sir. Oh, not to worry. See me at the end of the lesson. Patsy Bly. I've not had your permission slip yet, have I? Well, it's Friday today and the trip's only a week away now. And it's half term tomorrow. Hooray! All right. Did you take the letter home, Patsy? What did they say? Can you go? I don't know. Well, you want to go, don't you? It'll be fun. Grand history mystery tour of Kent. Yeah. Well, you never know where we might finish up. But well, we can't take you without permission. Yeah, I would, but... Where do you live, Patsy? 24 Arting Court. Ah, oh, the flats. It's not far. Tell you what, when it gets to half past twelve, you nip home and get your slip. You could be back by one. Well, it's worth a try, don't you think? I suppose so. Eh? Yes, sir. Bring the slip to me in the staff room, OK? Yes, sir. All right, you lot. Back to work. Who's there? Down here. Look. 
Down here. Blue. Pretty blue. Oh, the flower. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Pretty. Been doing work. All old time for Mr. Greenslade. Mr. Greenslade give me wages if I do my work. That's clever, finding them things. Here, you can have it if you like. Thank you very much. Boy swimming. Yeah, it's Kenny, friend of mine. Silly fat boy drain. Not him. Boy silly. Silly boy got no sense. Waking me up. About to come and have a close look at the boat. I've got to get home. I see. Mum says you're not to talk to strangers, is that it? Well, I'm sure she wouldn't mind if you just had a drink. Do you like cola with a chunk of ice in it? <laughs> of course you do. Shall I get you some? All right then. But I can't stay long. Hey, jump aboard. Who steps there? My name's Jenny. What's yours? Patsy. Don't spill it. <laughs> Cheers, Patsy. The others have gone shopping. Do you live near here? In them flats. Do you live on this boat? <laughs> well, I don't myself, but, but Joe does. The man that owns it. You're touring, like? Well, not like you mean, but, but we are on tour. We're members of a theatre group. Amateurs? We're performing a play at various places along the coast. Steeplestones, Herne Bay and Margate. Margate? Yes, even Margate. Joe's got friends everywhere. How many of you are there? Three on the boat and some others who go by road and meet us there. Sounds fantastic. Nice way to spend your holiday. Yeah. Do you like acting? Yeah, we do drama at school. Bet you're good. And Mr Lan says I'm a natural. And does he? And what sort of parts do you like? I'm not particular. I like doing funny ones, I suppose. Well, this play we're doing is a... Well, it's a comedy thriller. That means you laugh at one minute and you're scared stiff the next. Do you know it's a pity we're not doing it here? Yeah, I'd like to have seen it. No, I, I, I meant you could have been in it. Well, we're, we're short of a little girl for Peggy, the cleaning lady's daughter. Our other one got mumps and had to drop out. It's a nice part, too. I'd like to come with you and do it, on the boat. I expect you would. It's holidays all next week. I've got nothing else to do. I could come. Oh, we'd love to take you, Patsy. Really, we would, but well, we're leaving this afternoon. I'm on holiday already. We broke up yesterday. Well, your mum wouldn't dream of it. Not with a crowd of strangers. We need a letter giving permission. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Give us a drink, love. Oh, please. Look, the others will be back in a minute, and I've got lots to do. Well, it was really great talking to you, Patsy, but so long. Have a good holiday, yeah? What is she pestering you again? What, have they sent you home to get it? Yes, they have. 
Mr. Lambson's got to know today, else I can't go. Oh, yeah, does he know about your mum's headaches? And about me being out of work? And about you wetting the bed? Were you dry last night? Yes, I was. That's two nights in a row, like you said. All right, I can count. OK, I'm a fair-minded fella. Bring you a bit of paper, I'll think about signing it. I haven't got it. It's on the bottom of that letter. Well, if you can't be bothered to find it, that's your lookout, isn't it? After Mum. Now listen, this is your last chance. You ever mess me or your mother about again and that'll be your lot. Do you understand? Now what have I got to write in this? I can remember most of what the other one said. Well, come on, I ain't got all day. Dear sir. Dear sir. In this closet, that's it. That's it. In my Yeah. You sure? Yes. Oh, you're going. No, it's all right. Slowly. Am I there? No. Got it. Okay. Hey, sure. go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Still work. <coughs> Jenny, is there a shandy handy, please? Thank you. Hello? Hello? What letter was that, love? The letter from my dad. He says I could definitely come and be that kid in your play. That Peggy. I've got my things here. Hey, hey, wait a minute, you two. I'm producing this play. Can I see your letter, please? Dear sir, my daughter has permission to go on the tour of Kent next week. It's signed Eddie Green. Is that your dad? I didn't mean about taking the part. I, well, I just meant it was a pity you couldn't. That was all. But I'm free all next week. Our Jason's going into hospital, and Dad reckons I'd be better off out the way. And I told him you said I could come with you, and he was dead pleased. But he said you needed somebody. We do, love. We do need somebody. That's a fact. Better ask Joe. This is Bogey. See. Here he comes, right on cue. Uh, uh, who's this? Joe. Meet Patsy, a friend of Jenny's. Who wants to play Peggy for us? She's on holiday next week, and that is a letter giving her permission. What do you say? Can she come with us? Well, have you asked her parents? No. The letter's enough, isn't it? Mm. Signed, dated, it's got the address on. Where do you live, love? Over in the flats. I haven't got time. The tide won't wait 15 minutes. Are you on the phone? No. Listen, Jack. You were quite happy about Amanda before she got the mumps. Yeah, that was different. Not really. I was going to take charge of her, wasn't I? Well, I'll take charge of Patsy. And I'll make sure she writes him the minute we touch land. If she gets fed up, I'll, well, I'll take her home on the train. Come on, Joe, it's OK, isn't it? What do you say? If Jen is prepared to take the responsibility. Oh, besides, the honour of the Upper Thames players is at stake, isn't here, it? Here, here. How do you know she can act? Well, she's, well, she's good at drama at school. Wait here. I don't go away. You were looking forward to having a man from the cast. Oh, it'd be nice to have a kid around. She knows we're going as far as Margate, does she? Yeah, Jenny told me. It'd be a lot of hard work, you know. Yeah, she knows that. Here we are. Peggy. Peggy. Yes. Now, can you just read that speech for us? Um, it's your big scene. 
and Peggy is explaining to a policeman what she saw. OK? Yes, sir. Well, it was about as dark as pitch, and I was in one end of a rush to get home. But I see him, sir, coming out of that back way. You know, the little gate the milkman uses. Well, he was about as tall as you, sir, and he had a drooping moustache, like one of them old-time pilots. And he was wearing one of them white scarfings, you know, round his neck. And, and a leather sort of flying jacket on top. That's what I saw, sir, before he ran away. Hey, that's not bad for a first attempt. Definite potential. The rest of us won't get a look in. Never mind. I vote we take her. And so do I. All right then, Jenny. But on your own head be it. Hey, welcome aboard. Well, come on then. Let's cast off. What do you mean, gone missing? I sent her home for the slip about the outing, and she didn't come back this afternoon. Didn't come back. That's the bloody limit, isn't it? Did you sign the slip, Mr. Green? Sign it? I wrote a letter giving her permission to go. She was very keen on the outing. Hmm. Well, perhaps she decided to play in the sun. Well, don't worry, Mr. Green. Who's worrying? She can stay out forever, as far as I'm concerned. She might be hurt, though, Eddie. Have you thought of that? She'll be hurt if she comes back here, I promise you. Relations? Anybody she might have gone to? I well, haven't got no relations. Well, friends, then. Is there anybody she might have seen at dinner time? Is there anybody off sick in the flat? No. I, I, I can't think. There's, there's only Kenny underneath, but he's more out of school than in. Oh, Kenny Granger. Oh, I know him. Oh, my God. Come on, Mrs. Green. Let's go and see Kenny, then. She's all right. A million to one. But we'll just make sure. You can see to your son, Eddie Green. I'm going to see to my daughter. This teacher's from your school. He wants to know if you've seen Patsy Blythe this afternoon. Did you see her on the way home from school or anything? Patsy? No. Have you seen Patsy at all today, Kenny? She was in the playground this morning, wasn't she? Now stand up when Mr Lamb's speaking to you, dear. I never saw her. You were at school today, weren't you? Now you tell the truth now. Were you at school or weren't you? Oh, you naughty boy. Oh. Well, where were you? I was around, just mucking about. Where did you go? All over the place, along the walk, by the river. Did you see Patsy there? Yeah, I saw her. She was picking flowers and talking to this funny bloke. You tell the teacher all you know. You saw her talking to a funny bloke, did you, Kenny? Did you see her afterwards, later on at all? It's very, very important. Do you understand? I want the whole story, Kenny. If you know where she is, you've got to tell us. Thank you. 